Okay, here we go. So, volumetric graphs. Well, <laughs> all right. There's several ways to go about it. In fact, there's two ways to go about it. One being the way I'm going to show you now, and I'm going to show you another one at the end of this tutorial as well. Uh, this one is high poly volumetric graphs. So let's just start by drawing a couple of planes. Don't need to worry too much about size at the moment. You can fix that up later. Um, in my textures pack here, I've got a grass texture sheet. It'll just give you a nice look at that right there. You can see it contains a nice amount of grass textures. Um, I've got two seamless textures along the bottom. And I've got little bits at the top as well here. So, yeah, grass textures. Very nice. Let's first reverse those faces so we can actually work with it properly. Alright, so let's play around with the size, shall we? That's good enough for me. That's a nice, relatively cool size. Now, volumetric grass can be done in several ways. Um, along the bottom here, like I said, I've got seamless. So you can have that surrounding a taxiway edge. For example, you get the edge of the taxiway and you can put a seamless grass texture along the whole edge of the taxiway, making it look more realistic. Um, what we're going to be doing today, though, is I'm just going to be using some of the standalone grass textures that I've got here to show you a very simple way to make volumetric grass for little areas around the airport. So let's get cracking. We've got Steve in the background, let me know size and scale. Right, maybe a little bit bigger for flight sim's sake. Okay, right. we no longer need Steve, so we're going to be working with this. Now, just like the shrub tutorial, it's almost identical. You're going to be putting bits of grass here in and around. The only difference is I'm using a texture sheet. That's the only difference in this tutorial. Um, what we're going to be doing is mainly just adding bits and pieces everywhere we can. So we're going to make it a group up to here, use the protractor tool, press control, swing around. Here we have a, well, the start of what will be volumetric graphs. Now, we're going to start using different textures on all of the planes. So we'll go for that one. make a new plane a little bit higher than the others down on the axis there we go Let's reverse the face so we know we're going to use that texture okay. A little bit smaller, so we can fit it all in. And that will be fine. What we're going to do with this? So bring it in here, make it a group, and rotate. Rotate nicely. There we go. Now that gives us a pretty unique-looking patch of grass. And underneath that, we're also going to put a new plane in again. So use the group as a baseline. Go like that to there. Alright, fantastic. Okay, 
Okay, now we've got the start of some volumetric grass. What we're going to want to do is we're going to make little bits here and there, bits and pieces. So we're just going to go ahead and use the groups we've already got to work it now. Remembering in our last tutorial that almost everything in nature when it comes to plants isn't really uniform. Uh, there are a few things out there which can be classed as uniform, but uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's not go into that right now. So each one of these is, is going to want to be a different size, at a different angle, doing something different in life. We can now start to see how our grass will look. looking too terrible really like there's a few things that need to be added and tweaked so let's continue adding and tweaking Okay, I think I'm about done with that. Let's have a look without the edges. Yeah, you can see a couple of gaps that need filling. Nice, easy way to do that now. We've got a few panels to work with. There we go. Because a lot of the grass around the edges is going to be shorter and less pronounced, we're just going to drop that down slightly. To give, to give us that edge cut off. With that in mind, let's just go ahead and copy these once more. Now, before we move on to exporting, I just want to show you what you can do to make this into less of a patch, more of a meadow kind of thing. Let's just group everything together. Let's go and turn off the edges. It looks so much better without the edges. Now, if you want to make this into a meadow and then export it into Flight Sim, you can. But you just basically want to copy and paste each individual bush, that's, that's the word you want to use, bush I guess, of course give each and every one of them their own unique sort of twist on life. What I want to do, I'm just go ahead and copy, like so, and move it down like that. Now that's how you'd make volumetric grass to cover large areas. I'm just going to go ahead and we're actually going to export this. This will be fine. Export this 3D model. And we're just going to call it grass. Or grass says even. Grass says. Okay, let's bring that into MCX. Okay, here we are. Grass says. This might take a few minutes to load. Oh no, we're straight in there, straight in there. That looks really nice. I have to admit, that does actually look really, really nice. There's a few alpha mapping issues and things like that, but yeah, we can deal with that. Polygon count, 1,000. Yeah, it's not, it's not actually as bad as I thought it'd be. Quite a lot, though. But that's your basic volumetric grass shape. Sort of around, and then crisscrosses in the middle. Well, let us examine the texture. 
let's go up to 124 like so 124 is not quite cutting it so 170 that's really nice 170 is touching perfect now of course no shadow yeah zero i can stay in there why not And this, we've only got a thousand polygons, so if we turn on the ground, that's how it's going to look on the ground. That's how it's going to look in the distance. Really is quite pleasing. Well, let's go ahead and save a texture and export. Once again, DXT, because I find it saves frame rates. Let's go to save textures. There we go. Export object. Didn't know which one to click on there. <laughs> Grasses. Yeah, I'm just going to place it in the same folder as last time. <clears throat> I've already made it into... I've already placed it into the Airfield Essentials 2 BGL. So we can just go ahead and move that into scenery. Copy and replace. And of course, I'm not going to make the same mistake I did last time. I will actually take the textures. Grass sheet. Where are you? There you are. Okay, let us start up Flight Simulator. <clears throat> okay, here we are in Flight Sim. Once again, of course, it's gonna have to be it. It's gonna have to be Southampton. Yep, so we're at Southampton. Doki, we're on the ground at Southampton. Of all places, why are we still here? Alright, so let's go and find out what this volumetric glass. Well, like glass. Glass? It's glass now. Let's find out what this volumetric glass looks like inside Flight Simulator. See, Southampton has everything. Just perfect. It's just ready and waiting for me. Okay. Where are we? Add ons. Do we do instant scenery? Now you will notice I keep adding things to um, different scenery libraries simply because it's a lot easier. Grasses, there we are. Add to another file. Okay, well, let's have a close look at that. A bit closer, a bit closer. There we are. You can see. Yeah, it gives you that perfect look of grassy stuff. But from a higher angle, you can obviously see the structure. Yeah. It's fairly nice grass. I quite like it. So that's one type of volumetric grass. The other type is layered. This is crisscross. The other type is layered. And we'll get right onto that right now. Okay, now there's a couple of difficult things with layered volumetric grass. Number one is how much space you put between the layers. And number two is, well, it's, it's quite frankly annoying to make. But it's the most frame rate friendly version of volumetric grass you can possibly have. So let's just go ahead and make 10 by 10. And of course these layers can be any shape you like, which is why I love using this kind of volumetric grass for big airports, because you can obviously track right around the edge of a taxiway, and uh, all things like that. It's, it's, it's perfect. So let's start with a layer, and let's get a texture. Simply call it grass. I don't know, five, whatever. That's very nice. Now, 
because we're using SketchUp, I'm not going to be using a an alpha version of this just yet. I'm just going to be using what we have right here. So we have that. Let's go ahead and make a group. Get the call new group. Control, click, 0, 0. 0.0. I don't know, I tend to go for 4 sometimes. 4 is fine. And we just keep going with that. So we've got 10 planes all together. And that's how we're going to export it. Layered grass. There we go. Right, so this is how it looks currently. Now, you can see that you can't really see through it. It doesn't really look like grass. And if your plane was to be sitting on that, you're probably thinking that doesn't look at all grass. Well, that's because this texture needs an alpha map applied to it. So turn off that. It's annoying. Now, this texture needs an alpha map applied to it. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead Go into Material Editor, and we're going to be deleting that. But before we do, right, we just want to remember that this is 10 by 10, and the other one was 9 by 7. You can see the difference in polygons: 20. The other one was over a thousand. So this is low poly. There are a few things that don't look as good, and all of the above. But yes, Material Editor, Grass, Textures. Let's go. Now, we're just going to name this a temporary name. We're just going to call it Temp Grass. Okay, we're going to export that as a DXT. And we're now going to export the model. Okay, now here comes the fun. We're now going to bring back that model. In, we're now going to bring that model back into Model Converter X. So let's grab it here, Layered Grass MDL. Bring it in, and it's exactly the same as we left off, only now we can tamper with the textures. I already have a texture called Grass VM1, which is just basically a grass texture with an alpha map applied to it. In fact, I can show you that. This little program here is called DXT BMP. Just drag that in there. You can see the alpha channel appear here. It's a completely different grass texture in its own, but the alpha channel, as you can see, is quite spotty. The black is where you don't see anything, and it's completely invisible, and the white is where the texture actually takes shape. So, that's the texture we're going to be using. Grass VM1. Into there, into there, and paste. Grass VM1. Okay. Now just pop down here. We can now change it out for that exact texture. The texture's now been changed. All we have to do now is okay, change it down to less, actually, if it's sort of reversed. But yeah. I had a bit of trouble with the alpha blending there. I'm a bit weird when it comes to things like that. But yeah, this is what your grass will eventually look like. Now, as you zoom in closer, you can see the individual lines and pieces, and you don't really care about that. Once again, you don't want a shadow. And I find it better to turn off the Z right in this situation. Because the grass will then blend all in with each other. If you look at it from this angle, you get to see less as you go further ahead. So your grass will have the effect of appearing um, the further you get away from it, and etc. So the further you get away from the grass, the less there appears to be. And the closer you get, the more there appears to be. It's, it's a rather strange optical illusion, but it's quite fun to have in flights in. Now looking down for it, we can adjust the test blend to whatever you like. The higher the number, the thicker your grass will be. So if we go to 100, the sub is going to be extraordinarily thick. And it doesn't really affect too much as you move away, but it does get rid of that nice sort of blendy feeling. So I try and keep mine between 20 and 80, depending on what kind of mapping I'm using for the alpha channel. Let's go for 20 on this one.
And that's about perfect for me. And once again, you put that into Flight Sim in exactly the same way as before. You'll export the model, place it in, and then place it around your buildings and things like that. But I tend not to use this one for individual placement. I put this in in quite literally bulk. For example, I'll give you a, a demonstration of that right now. I recently released Sultan Ismail Petra Airport in Malaysia. I'll just give you an idea now of what went into the volumetric graphs for that. This is the volumetric graphs for Sultan Ismail. Ismail, I, is, Ismail I, I don't know how to pronounce it. If I'm pronouncing his name wrong, please forgive me. Whoa, too far. But yeah, as you can see, it's making my Model Converter X go nuts. It doesn't like it. The thing about placing this amount of grass in as well, you do need an attach point, which is for the correction of the Earth curve nature. Because it's running the length of the airport, I mean, seriously. Number of polygons in that, just over 2,000. So, honestly, less than the main terminal building itself. Which is perfect, really. So yeah, if you want low poly volumetric grass, go for the layered effect. Layered option is literally the best. It, it looks great. There's nothing wrong with it. It appears as you get close, so it does save on your frame rates. It really does. Um, if you want more realistic looking grass, which you can see from a more more of a distance, which you can get those beautiful camera angles of you know the grass in front of the wheels and things like that then the high poly volumetric grass is definitely for you. Let's have a new look at that here, shall we? So yeah, well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I certainly enjoy making these little tutorials. Uh, I'd say little. Little do you know that we're now probably approaching about an hour. <laughs> I will edit this down, and it'll be more of a bite-sized chunk for you. But yeah, hope you enjoyed the last one, the Volumetric Shrub. If you haven't seen that, uh, I'll put a link up to it right here. There we are. There it is. Okay. And the next one will probably be something to do with trees. I like trees. Trees are cool. Trees are amazing. But yeah, grass. Blades of grass. Lots and lots of grass. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Grass.